sweating like balls. Hello. So this week you may have noticed I changed my setup. You know why? I hate sitting on my bed. Fun fact. This is calamansi juice, okay? <laughs> Sour. Okay. So before we start the video, I want to promote two things. My friend's shop on Shopee is now open. Silk Ave Manila. She sells satin scrunchies that she makes with her beautiful sewing machine. And they are at amazing prices. And I'm going to buy some for myself. And you can check them out. I'm going to show a little video over here showing that. So go check that out. And also, I'm promoting my friend's online exhibit for their school thing. It's called Pandemic Folklore, and it's an online exhibit. The pieces embody personal reflections inspired by stories about the pandemic, Asian arts, cultures, myths, and folklore and interpreted through social media visuals and other multimedia forms. So go check that out. And I'm gonna leave a photo over here of when it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. Definitely gonna check that out when it comes out, so you should too. Alright, so let's get into the video, y'all. Starting off strong, we have... <laughs> I'm waiting on that cart adventure thing. I'm eating it. Tagal pa. Yeah. And the video that comes after that... I'm sweating like balls, and we're gonna watch uh, Shrek 4D. It just came from the Madagascar ride, so yeah. So context for those two videos. If I just showed it right now, oh my god, my nose won't stop itching. So I was in Universal Studios Singapore with my sister and my mom, and we were waiting for the rides, and I was about. How old was I? 15 at the time? No, I have no idea where those shades are. I think they broke, so I basically gave them away or threw them away. And, you know, Universal Studios is pretty great. I'm just sad I didn't get to ride that dragon ride towards the end, honestly. <sighs> yeah, okay, so let's move on to this other video. Another strong opening seance. Okay. Touching, touching, touching. <laughs> okay, so you heard that, yes, touching. Well, as you can tell, I'm a huge fan of music, and the musicians that I like, his music are there in front of me, and I like the musicians' music. Okay, just take that in and just know that I was in Singapore still and I see a bunch of signed copies of these albums and I was freaking out. So I saw a signed version, I think, of Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge. Fun fact, I actually got my Three Cheers for Sweet, <laughs> Sweet Revenge album in Singapore, yes. And I'm glad because the time when I was trying to look for it, they were starting to phase out old Warner. Old Warner, I know, weird, right? It's not even that old. So let's move on to the photos. So I got four sets of, no, four photos here in one part, okay? So I'm smiling, peace sign, cover face, cool. So. Let's acknowledge the fact that I just look drunk as hell, but I am actually only 14 years, no, no, I'm 15 here, and I'm at the fair of my old school, Dominican college, which I go to every year, and... I just look rough. I look greasy as hell. I was there from like 9 a.m. up until like 8 p.m. I think or later and I looked rough. It was a rough day. It was a long day. You can tell 
and I had dirty ass nails. So yeah, I actually still own some of the bracelets I'm wearing in that photo, if they didn't break or get lost. So yeah. I love that one photo, by the way. I don't know, just something about it is just so organic. Let's move on. Okay, this photo with Allie. I've told you about Allie, right? Uh, she was coming to visit me. She was actually sneaking just to visit me over in BGC. She was, uh, I think she was about 13 at the time and I was 15. And we just basically, uh, I don't even know why I was dressed up. I think we just stayed at home, if I remember correctly. And the exposure in this photo, dear lord, it's insane. Honestly, there's not much I can say about this photo except the fact that we had a really great day. And Kat also came over later that day. And we had a great time. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> this is just so uneventful. Okay, this photo of me and my... Did you see that spit just coming out of me? Anyways, this photo of me and my sister very much represents everything about me at the time. And actually, if I'm being completely honest, that's still me until now. So I was... The book I'm reading in this one is... That looks like... No, that's not Goblet of Fire. I, I feel horrible for not being able to tell by looking at it. Oh my gosh, it's raining really hard. I don't know. I don't know. The blue one. Anyways, I feel so bad for not knowing. But anyways, we were at a fitting room. And you can see my outfit. I'm actually the phone that I'm holding in that photo is still the same phone that I'm using to record this right now. And I have a crap ton of bracelets, which I used to sport all the time. Knee high socks, of course, and those shoes, those glitter shoes that I gave away, which I totally regret giving away because they're actually really cute and functional. So my sister is just wearing this i don't even know what's going on here honestly like she didn't wear that outfit out okay she was just fitting that because i think i wanted to fit it but it didn't fit me so i was like you fit it and it did you can see her flower crown her gingham blue and white top her i don't know freaking it's actually like really light blue ripped jeans with those metallic wedge sneakers i have no idea what's going on Quite frankly, my outfit, I'd still wear that today. And I'm pretty sure I wore something like that a few weeks ago. And yeah, I'm actually a huge Harry Potter fan. And I have a bunch of... I mean, you saw my serious black poster, right? It's like literally right there. Okay, so this photo... It's me and Yaz and Trin when we were at the 21 Pilots concert in... 2015 when they went to Trinoma and Mom, can you turn it down? Siblings. So yeah, it's me and Trin and it's me and Yaz and those are fake piercings on my face of course because you know I was literally 14 years old those are my fake nerd glasses, and we were, I think, at Starbucks at this point. You can tell because we are in line for some drinks, and I bought a caramel macchiato for the first time, and honestly, it sucked ass. I hated it so much. I have no idea. I just kept complaining about it the whole time. I know it's Starbucks because of how yellow I look, because of the lighting. And that was the first time we actually met up. Uh, this was around, yeah, the time of the concert, which was about June or July. This is the first time we met up because we met on the internet. Did I say that too fast? This is the first time we met up because we met on the internet. And we're very good friends until now. And okay, next photo. So this photo is just 
me and my these two photos are just me and my sister sitting down again the infamous stud choker which i still have over there but it's starting to rust unfortunately and we i i don't know if we just came back from the movie or if we were about to leave but i think we just came back because my hair is up and my hair was not up for that outfit i remember okay we watched um star wars i don't remember which one but the star wars it came out in 2015. This outfit was amazing, by the way. It's still on my Instagram somewhere. Yeah, if you want to hunt it down, go ahead. So can I just say that my roots are so overgrown at this point? I really plan on dyeing it sometime, probably after my birthday. Okay, next photo. It's just one blurry photo of me on Flying Fiesta in Enchanted Kingdom. And it was taken on my iPhone 4. And yeah, there's really nothing much to say about that except, wow, I had a good time. It's one of my favorite rides, definitely, Enchanted Kingdom. I love it. We were actually supposed to go there for JC's birthday last March, but pandemic, heh. <laughs> okay, so this is just a photo of me and Louis. Again, with an infamous nerd glasses. This time I chipped. I believe I... No, it's not. Yeah. Uh, just me and Louis, I think we were... I don't remember. I honestly don't remember where we were at this point. I think... Was this the same as... The same time as that time when we were at the freaking fitting room? I can't even tell because I keep wearing similar things. And see, okay... I think we were at the dentist, and then like this photo, I'm so sorry, you got, your faces are blocked out. <laughs> um, I'm wearing a black hoodie that I bought from Market Market, and the same single thing, black choker with the skull pendant, and the Y, the depressing bangs, and the bun. Fun fact, when my hair was super long, I would always tie it in a bun. So that's Shina and Jai. So, hello, if you're seeing this now, I'm so sorry I ruined your faces. And here's a photo of me and my friend. And friends. <laughs> um, if you were my classmate at the time. You would know the context of this photo. But, again, you see me with a choker. I think that's a hammer pendant. And I was still just learning how to use lip tint at this point. So, I didn't really use lip balm, I guess, or it faded at, point, at that point. And, yeah. Uh, I miss some parts of high school. And I miss Miggy. Because he's in America now. Florence, fine. I'm pretty sure he's doing fine. He's somewhere somewhere hi Florian. hi miggy <laughs> if you're seeing this <laughs> i'm assuming you won't but you know if you do hello hope you're doing fine get a random photo of when we were at taco bell after the 21 pilots show and that's yaz hello yaz i miss you and this is me and trin during the 21 pilots show so Actually, during the 21 Pilots show, okay, let me just say T.O.P. so it's fast. So during the T.O.P. show, I went there primarily to meet with my friends, but I was I was just getting into 21 Pilots at the time. So there were times when they were singing and I was really trying to be like, uh -huh. and I failed miserably. But you know, I quickly caught on after that, so proud of myself. And this is what we were watching from the second floor because very, very limited space downstairs because you, it was, um, it was a mall show. So it was very um, exclusive in the VIP part. So very rarely could you get a ticket to that unless you really made it like super early. Like, yes, yes, getting that ticket. So yeah, we were on the second floor, we watched for free, went all the way to Trinoma just to do that. It was awesome. This is me, still in the ninth grade, of course, with a fake nose ring. This is still me with a fake nose ring. 
And wow, oh my gosh, I love this. So these photos, I'll show right here. It's my first ever Gerard cosplay. I still have that blazer, but I can't find it. I was gonna use it for the lookbook, but I couldn't find it. I'm so, I used that necktie for the revenge lookbook. And I actually did not have any red eyeliner back then, so what I would do was leave the red pencil in like a, a cabo or tabo as the manila people say and would let it simmer in the hot water until it was soft enough and then I would dr draw on my face and sometimes wood would get in my eye it sucked but it got the job done and I was so proud of this because um, my hair, I, I, I bought wax specifically just to get that matted look and it sort of worked but it was too organized and that is my sister in the back with them flared nostrils and she is the queen of hearts that it was my costume fun fact every time I wore that costume to a party I would win so okay one of the most awkward things about this um, particular okay so the cosplay I was so proud of and I still freaking love it today by the way and I, I was just so proud of myself at that point. I was really happy about it. And I'm... It's nice to see myself happy because I really enjoyed things at that point, you know? And... Yeah, what was I gonna say again? Okay, so... Quick story time. The reason why I dressed up was because, obviously, Halloween, like, I would jump at the instant to dress up for basically anything as you can tell and my sister was going as a queen of hearts and it was basically a kids party but my mom made me go because my sister was going haha eldest sibling problem so I went and literally everyone thought I was a dude and it was awesome and I was also the only teenager there which was kind of embarrassing but I didn't feel it that much because I was just in this Gerard moment. I was feeling it. I was like, yeah, I'm Gerard Way, sitting in a kid's party. What the heck do you want? You know? I mean, like, that's Gerard would never say that. Better stay on that side of the street, motherfucker. <laughs> I'll knock you out. Or maybe he would. I don't know. Depends. And, of course... One of the few, last few photos that we're gonna look at is this iconic, iconic look of long sleeve under ringer shirt, which I got from Fudge Rock before when they were still decent-ish. I got this, fin these fingerless gloves that my mom got me from America that were actually Supernatural merch, even if I don't watch it. I'm wearing my trouble beanie and my layered hair and my fringe is absolutely insane in this photo. I was also 15 in this photo and I was obsessed with this outfit. Hell, I'd wear some version of this today, honestly, but it's just so hot. But you know, I mean, come on, like from the things that I wear nowadays, it's not that far of a stretch. And also before we get to the honorable mentions let me just say that there is a video from this particular day that i can't find but when i find it i'll show you and it's just so quotable at least in my opinion it is and there are about 67 photos we're not going to do it right now obviously so i'm breaking up this series up into a few parts and yeah so i don't want to bombard you guys so, let's just get to the end of the video. <laughs> I swear there are a lot more photos coming and they are amazing. They are rich. They are, ooh, flavorful. I love them. And I am more than happy to share with you my past. You know why? 
because I don't regret a minute of it and I love all my looks seriously I'm also amazed at how I had the balls to do that and how much I was able to get away with it at the time it's very MySpace emo aesthetic not to say that I'm not emo today but you know MySpace the specific MySpace kind and so honorable mentions you have to see the caption of course see June 1 2015 no matter what they say, they don't know us anyway. I really took that seriously. I mean, look, look at my face. I mean, I had to screenshot this from Facebook because I don't have the app because it takes up way too much space. I'm just really feeling it, you know, like just sitting on a bench in BGC, about to go home, wearing my blue sando, sleeveless, my, my black vest, which I still have. Still have those black stud cuffs. Don't have those shoes anymore. And my ripped jeans, which I still have, but are way loose now. Because I've always... I would always wear those jeans. Like, without stopping. Like, I mean, like, every time I went out, that was the only pair of jeans that I would wear until I got other jeans. Yeah. I just came back from Cebu here, so I was being really sad and, you know, like, oh, I hate my life, I'm about to go to a new school. Those emotions were very real, and I respect that. Next honorable mention. So you're going to see the context of this photo in the next few episodes of this series where I'm going to show you the rest of the band, or at least the girls the women of the band and I'm wearing my I'm not okay shirt here two belts a wrist full of bracelets fingerless gloves that I lost and my gun necklace and a black cropped jacket and you can see if you zoom in on the bottom right and the upper left you can see Patrick and you can see Pete So that is in the stairwell of my old school and that caption so it gets me every time Need that dark and litter litter in a litter and a little more light So first we were quoting yellow card and now we're quoting fallout boy and not gonna lie I Love it. I love it so much. I was feeling this outfit. We were about to perform or a thing called Nutri Band because it was Nutrition Month, and guess what? We prepared the crap out of it. What we prepared for it intensely. We used American Idiot, and we turned it into a song about tr nutrition. And I don't remember how it goes specifically. But it was cr it was pretty cool. But you know, here's the sad thing. But also, I guess good. We were the only ones. Our section was the only one who prepared for that competition. So we ended up just performing against nobody. And I sucked at electric guitar back then more than I do now. And. I wasn't in time with the strumming and it was it was actually a mess, but it was fun. You can see how long my hair is. This was before I got it layered. And I used a photo of Haley as inspiration. So yeah, that's it for today's episode. Very chill, different setup. I'm still deciding if I like it or not, honestly. And I will not be doing these videos consecutively because i don't want to bore you all i really want to do a lookbook pretty soon but i'm not gonna spill the specifics because it might ruin the surprise but yeah so yeah that's it for now i hope you enjoyed this very long video and please like and subscribe if you want to leave a comment check the links down below and if all goes as planned Black Sheep will be released on the 30th of September for your enjoyment. And 
yeah feel free to share whatever i hope you um you see you guys seem to like the last reaction video so i thought you know maybe we should do a little bit more of these and even if you don't like it i really really do not mind because i mean like why would i i'm entertaining myself anyways yes i'm using a coaster okay i'm not a savage so yeah y'all that's it i hope you have a great day and follow me on instagram at bullet aesthetic i hope you enjoy this series and i'll see you again next sunday and i realize i left out some photos to react to but i guess it'll just have to wait till the next episode and i have no idea because when i don't script videos this is just my organic reaction this is just my organic reaction to whatever it is that is being presented to me because honestly i don't find a lot of it surprising because this is still very much who i am just a little bit more evolved and yeah i'm not ashamed of it because you know being who i was at the time got me to where i am now and i would say i'm doing okay so yeah i forgot again i was gonna say something but i completely forgot <laughs> I took a nap a while ago and I had this really weird dream. I was watching a horror live stream and suddenly I was in the horror house of a live stream that I was watching. And then these perfect faced um, robots, but I didn't know they were robots, were following me around. And there was one that just kept, follow kept following me. And it was freaking weird. And then I woke up. That is not the full story.